My dear friend in Christ, way back in 1976, a 20-year-old boy named Peter was injured in a car accident in Chicago. He was thrown into a coma after a massive skull injury and doctors gave up hope. Linda, who promised to marry him, was the most shocked of all. But she chose to spend all her time by the hospital bed. She gently tapped his cheeks, rubbed his eyebrows, and spoke gentle words to him. She told people, "We are on a normal date. I still love him." And after 4 months, the doctors were baffled, confused, and were in for a surprise. Peter's toes moved, his eyebrows fluttered, and his lips began to speak. She took him home. He walked, he swam at the pool, and gradually perched back to normalcy. The doctors then said it was Linda's love that healed him. A year later, Peter asked Linda's father if he could marry Linda, and the man said, "If you can walk down the aisle with my daughter at church, you certainly can marry her." A year later, Peter walked down the aisle of Our Lady of Pompeii Church in Chicago with Linda. All across the U.S. Newspapers and television channels carried this beautiful story of love and sacrifice of Linda. Her love healed him. Love has the power to heal the deepest wounds, and that is why Jesus preached love wherever he went. Jesus urged his followers to emphasize on love in every relationship as a mark of discipleship. He said, "I give you a new commandment: Love one another as I have loved you. So also you should love one another." When you love one another people will know that you are my disciples. John chapter 13 verse 34 to 35. True love my dear friend in Christ has the power to bring people on the brink of death to the joy of new life. Those on the verge of hopelessness to hope, those on the edge of loneliness to companionship and from suppression to freedom. When Jesus said I have come that you might have life He said something more that you may have life in abundance John chapter 10 verse 10 And what is abundance in life Abundance in life does not come to us from material gains or power and position but from the assurance that there is a shoulder to lean on a hand to hold on to a gentle word of comfort a loving assurance of someone's presence in times of distress and a smile to share in moments of joy The shortest verse in the Bible is John chapter 11 verse 35 Jesus wept When Lazarus was dead and lying in the tomb Jesus was there at the site of mourning to share in the suffering of others Like Jesus Linda too was there at Peter's bedside sharing in his suffering She heaped love upon him and he was healed Jesus loved too brought consolation to those weeping Lazarus was raised back to life My dear friend in Christ love can resurrect others from the worst of situations it can bring healing that medicine won't understand Your love can heal so become a healer may you have a good and godly day